Hello, you've just returned home from after undergoing percutaneous needle apneurotomy for Dupuytren's contracture. I would like you to take a few minutes to watch these post-operative instructions to ensure you have a smooth and quick recovery. I hope your first night went well and that you're getting used to the extension splint. This orthosis must be worn at night for about six weeks to preserve extension of the fingers. Post-surgery pain is often described as mild. However, as pain tolerance varies highly from person to another, you can manage your own discomfort using the following pain medications. Tylenol, ibuprofen, and narcotics such as oxycodone if required. You may combine them as long as you respect their maximum dosages. Check with your pharmacist for interactions and contraindications. The goal is to prevent the pain before it starts. Keeping it under control is essential to be able to participate actively in your recovery. You should stop taking your prescribed narcotic pain medication as quickly as possible to avoid side effects such as constipation or nausea. You should never drive while taking narcotic pain medication. These exercises can help you relieve discomfort after surgery. Raise your hand above heart level to help promote venous drainage and reduce swelling. Elevate your arm completely over your head to help minimize swelling faster. Repeat a few times every day for the first four or five days. You may apply ice on the surgical area, use a cloth or a Ziploc bag and apply for 15 minutes at a time to avoid burning your skin. The surgical dressing covering the incision can be removed three days after surgery. You may notice some dry blood under the surgical tape, which is perfectly normal. You can protect the area with a band-aid for your comfort. You may shower or wash your hair the first day after surgery. Pools and jacuzzis should be avoided completely. Bathing is permitted as long as you keep your hand out of the tub for the first two weeks. You should skip dish duty and take a break from gardening. Be careful around animals and pets and make sure to protect your hand to avoid infections. The tiny incision should heal within two to three days. You must start exercising your hand and fingers immediately after surgery. As soon as you get home, you should move your hand and fingers to their fullest range of motion. Close and open your fist. Make sure you extend your fingers fully. You can even use the other hand to assist. Repeat 10 to 12 times, three times a day, until your next appointment. These exercises may cause some discomfort. Do not hesitate to take your pain medication 20 minutes before to ensure you do them properly. Icing the area after will also help ease the pain. Do not use stress balls for the first two weeks uh, they are, as they are designed to help regain strength rather than mobility and range of motion. Misuse of stress balls can lead to inflammation, which we want to avoid. Driving is permitted as soon as you stop taking your narcotics. Most patients can resume driving one or two days after surgery. When you may return to work depends on your occupation and how fast you re recover. Do not forget your follow-up appointment, which will normally take place in about 10 days. This visit is important to evaluate your progress and discuss your return to work and other activities. Until then, you should contact us if you develop fever, pain, or notice unusual drainage or redness around the wound. I encourage you to contact us if you have questions or concerns. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.